Hello everyone, in this experiment I'm going to determine the equivalent resistance of two resistors connected in series and parallel. Apparatus, digital multimeter, two resistors, this is 10 ohm resistor and 5 ohm resistance, connecting wires. We set the digital multimeter on resistance setting adjust in that position ohms our resistance each one is less than 200 so we adjust it to this position now it's ready we connect the black one to com and we connect the other wire to ohm now it's ready we measure each uh, uh, resistance so this is the first one it's 5 ohm resistor uh, it's 5.6 ohm so the first resistance it's 5.6 ohm so we register this one so R1 is 5.6 ohm but now the question is that this is 5 ohm resistor why it's 5.6 because the resistance of the wire that wire of the instrument has resistance we can check that value if we connect both of them together it's 0.7 ohms so the resistance of the wires of the instrument is 0.7 so that is the reason why that resistance is 5.6 not 5 like the written here we measure the other resistance it's 10.4 ohms also why it is not 10 because the resistance of the connecting wires so we write here it's 10.4 ohms theoretically we add them up this is r total theoretically so r total theoretically equals 5.6 plus 10.4 16 ohms now we connect the circuit in series so set up the series circuit as shown in the circuit one so we connect the two resistors in series with the multimeter in the position ohm meter now we connect the two resistors in series i use the short wire to minimize the resistance of the wire i don't use a long wire like this because if the wire is long it has more resistance now we measure that resistance of the two resistors in series it is 15.3 total resistance with measurement is 15.3 but theoretically it was 16. the second step of this experiment we connected the two resistors in parallel theoretically R1 we measured before it was 5.6 and R2 10.4 and R2 tell in parallel it's R1 R2 over R1 plus R2 so we calculate it is 3.64 ohms note that it is less than the smallest one now we connect the two resistors in parallel and we measure the total resistance by using multimeter now we connect the two resistors in parallel but also to minimize the external resistance of the wire i use a short wires not long wire to minimize the external resistance now we need to measure the total resistance in parallel now we connect the two resistors in parallel and connect that junction and that junction to the multimeter we read the multimeter it is 3.9 ohms so this is the value of total resistance by using the multimeter it is 3.9 and the theoretical it was 3.64 ohms now we answer how accurate your prediction was in step one what is the accuracy accuracy is the closeness to accepted value percentage error represents accuracy 
So what is the percentage error? It is the accurate value minus experimental value over the accurate value multiplied by 100. Calculate this percent. Conclusions and analysis. How accurate your prediction was in step four? We calculate the percentage error. So the percentage error equals absolute value of accurate value minus experimental value. The accurate fa value or theoretical value, it is 16 minus the experimental value, it is 15.3 over the accurate value, 16. We multiply this by 100 to get the percentage. Now, the calculation of uh, percentage error, it's 4.4. So it is excellent. So our accuracy is excellent. Now, in the second case, in case of parallel, how accurate your prediction in step seven? The percentage error here. The accurate value in case of uh, parallel connection, it was 3.64 minus the measured value, it is 3.9 over 3.64. Remember, we take the absolute value. This one multiply by 100%. We calculate this value. Our calculation here, it is 7.1%. So it is very good. What about the conclusion? We did this experiment to determine the equivalent resistance of two resistors connected in series and parallel. We found in case of uh, series, the accuracy is 4.4%. But in case of parallel, it was 7.1% more than the series because we used a lot of wire in parallel than in series. So we verify that R total in case of resist uh, R total in case of series resistors equals R1 plus R2, and in case of parallel, R total equals R1 R2 over R1 plus R2. So we verify that rule. I hope you understand this experiment. Thank you.